Alright, just want to say good morning YouTubers. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning here in Arizona. Welcome to Arizona Dual Sport. I want to say good morning to Everride, Tyler, and uh, Colorado Dual Sport. They kind of are my inspiration. I'm new to this. Arizona Dual Sport Adventures. Today I'm taking out the Weiss bike, which I just got her. Um, she's still learning, so I got her something little. It's actually an XR or CRF 100 2005, but I did put the uh, XR 80 wheels on it, 14 inch rear, 16 inch front, so she can touch the ground pretty, pretty flat footed and and have some confidence why she's riding it. Today we're going to do what I call Mini Moab. Now I know you guys, Arizona, uh, Colorado Dual Sport, you guys had go-to Moab, but this is my little version of it here in Arizona. We found this trail with uh, Jack, the four-wheel drive, and a Toyota four-wheel drive club. Ooh, left my water on. And you notice I forgot gloves, like a Dumbo. This thing is geared so low. Fun little bike though. If you ever want to get a beginner bike, the XR80, XR100, CRF125. She did touch the ground on that tippy toed um, when we went and looked at them. Um, she did sit on a CRF150 as well and was like barely, barely tippy toed on that. portion of this trail it's just this dirt road but this is what I call my backyard because it's only 30 minute drive I did go through this bike check the oil uh, check the spokes the rear spokes were loose on the wheel that I had gotten uh, front spokes were a little loose put new heavy duty tubes in it and this is uh, <laughs> fifth gear, not top speed, but I don't really want to ring it out too much. Like I said, it's not my bike. Oh, update on the video stuff. I did, well, since I'm new to this, I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of money. I know there's a lot. People, Tyler, he spends a lot of his time, money doing this um, because it's his career. He's making a living doing YouTube videos. So I got the Ion Air Pro. It's actually a first generation, really good camera for $50 here at a local store. And gosh, I think it's a great video quality for $50. Now it does have an external speaker, I mean everything's external on this thing which is pretty cool. You don't have to have the case and buy a bunch of extra money for mounting equipment and stuff. They give it all to you right off the bat. Um, helmet mount, the M3 which is still really good tape, blue. Um, the only problem that I noticed with it was at speeds, I got a lot of wind noise. Because it's an external speaker, the thing had this little louver thing on it. It looked pretty cool, but the speaker was underneath it. Now everybody saying, "Oh, it's on the bottom by the little holes where you put the tether." That is incorrect. It is at the top. So they are saying, "Oh, take it all apart, drill a hole, and then you make it not waterproof anymore." This is a waterproof camera, which we took to Lake Pleasant, we took diving and swimming with us, and it performed great. Um, microphone worked really great for everything except for when you're going down the road at a pretty fast speed. So instead of taking it apart, making it so it was not waterproof anymore, I uh, just took that little louver off. I actually just cut my top off of mine because I knew where the speaker was at after testing and testing and testing to try to find it and lo and behold there's a little speaker under there two little screws hold it in with some little o-rings pull that little guy out and there's two little wires sticking out 
to solder in, tape up nice and cleanly, a mono female jack with, with a little wire sticking out of it. Do that, tape it up real nice, and then I did uh, some silicone sealer, sealed up the hole where the wires went in. So I am still waterproof. And uh, I actually had in my, my wire box, old school, before they even had Bluetooth, was a little mono cell phone adapter thing with a little button on it and a microphone, kind of like a little earbud with a button. So I just took the button off, used the microphone part of it, and a couple test positions later, this is what I got. Um, in my helmet, positioned really good. Some deep sand. That's what I love about this this particular section out here, 99th Avenue, Carefree Highway. Is this got a lot of everything, which is really awesome. Really cool stuff out here. Later on, I probably won't do any videos of it, but I'm gonna go and explore that side. Because I remember years back, I used to be able to get back in behind those mountains. There were some really nice trails back there. They've done a lot of development. You see the houses over there. They put in a lot of houses. But I'm gonna take that trail later on and see where it goes. But I wanted you all to see my mini Moab. Very cool. Um, I did bring Karen out here one time before she was ready and uh, she ended up taking a misstep and dumping the bike and it landed on her and she's still a little tentative about trails like this. But single track, <laughs> that's what I love. So this is... Big rabbits. <laughs> this is nice, soft, loomy, good traction. Really soft. <laughs> it's one thing I don't like you'll see in a lot of my riding. I like the hard pack stuff. Very tentative about soft sand. love single track but because it's not so fast if you crash it doesn't hurt too bad <laughs> but just the slower speeds and I've been riding for a long time long time okay this is back on the main trail which I will do later just for a video And the main trail goes that way, which I'll do later with single track. And there's a This is the first shakedown run for this bike, by the way. We just got it. I can believe we only paid $450 for it. <laughs> Not 2005 XR100 that I kind of converted to the XR80 size. It might even be CRF100 that new, but you know, found some tires for it and stuff. Yeah, it's a very technical trail. You know, On my 250, it only takes me about seven minutes to do this. It's not very long. 
but out here there is a load of trails that go everywhere so if you ever come out here nice place to come ride park up behind wild horse west bar and grill there and uh, go ride have fun for a couple hours and go back and have a burger plus if something happens um, you don't have too far to hike back which is kind of nice so you know I didn't didn't ride this bike out here not street legal yet I'm debating on that um, definitely not geared for street either I think top speed is like 40 45 miles an hour um, but definitely a really good trail bike for a beginner That just goes up and dead ends at the mountain up there. Plenty of power. Use the bottom end, use the top end. Brakes were good, you know they're a drum brake. They still work really, really well. It's such a fun little trail. Believe it or not, it does get a lot more technical than this. Kind of half sitting, half standing. It's still got, you know, foot peg pressure on. Always want to maintain foot peg pressure so you can kind of sit up and maneuver the bike around underneath you a little bit. goat mode. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Beautiful back in here though. Oh here's the spot. Oh yeah. Little billy goat. Nice and slow. <laughs> God this thing is awesome. Billy goat mode again. Got a billy goat gear. <laughs> Ow.
the 303. Keeps going up that way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place, so. So this has been out here for 20, 25 years that I know of, that's how long I've been in the valley. And uh, it's awesome, it's always the same. Soft sand, oop, there's a trail. All right, so basically, yeah, lots of trails. Lots and lots of trails out here. You take this all the way to the power line and runs north-south, uh, or to the power line and runs east-west. Um, we'll take you back to Wild Horse West. And uh, hell one, the power line, if you take the power line north-south, uh, you take that north, it'll take you to the 303. There is a gate. Make sure you close the gate. And I'm gonna stop this video and just take the single track back the way it came. I guess I'll keep videoing. Doesn't hurt. Here's the single track that I did. I think this is it. That I didn't take. No, oh, maybe that was just a shortcut. <laughs> Sand. Deep, deep, deep. stuff up here. I think this will go around to the right if I'm correct. Yep. Or maybe around to the left. Oh yeah. Beautiful.
our trail. I knew that I was having that type of baby stepping down there. Boy, I wish I hadn't forgot my gloves.
I keep going. Here's the main trail, which I'm going to start from the beginning. So, back in a minute.